Hey guys, it's Miss Patrick, and this is day 15, our last day before spring break. Yay! This is our reading. We are going to learn about a macaw today. If you've seen Rio, they have macaws um, in that movie. So, at first, we're going to go over our vocabulary like always, and then we'll talk about the passage and what you need to do today. So our first word is rainforest, a tropical dense forest that has a lot of rainfall. Imitate, to copy. I think most of you think of parrots um, when you think of imitation with a bird, but macaws imitate too. Species, types of a specific animal. Beak, a bird's jaws. It's right there. Threatened, animals that are nearing endangerment. So that means that there's not a lot of these animals left. Fledging, when a bird develops wing feathers and starts to leave the nest. Captivity, living in a cage or being owned by humans. So if it is a pet, they live in captivity. Poison, a substance that causes illness or death. All right, and I'm going to take us down to our article. And I'm going to scroll down so you can see this picture of the macaw in full color. Look how bright blue. It's beautiful. All right, macaw. Macaws are long-tailed, colorful parrots which live in Central America, especially Mexico and South America. Most macaws live in rainforests, but some prefer woods or grasslands. There are 19 types or species of macaws. Macaws are known for being able to imitate human speech, and they can be taught many tricks, even games like table basketball. Appearance. The largest macaw is the, ooh, let me make sure I'm going to say this right. I think it's high connect. Hyacinth. Oh, I was wrong. Hyacinth macaw. These macaws can be 40 inches long, measured from the top of their heads to the tips of their long tails. Each wing is 15 to 17 inches long. They weigh between 2.6 to 3.7 pounds. The smallest macaw is only about 12 inches long, so the smallest one is about the size of a roller. Macaws are brightly colored. Their main body color can be blue, green, red, or yellow. Their wings, chest, throats, and cheeks are usually colored differently than their main bodies. The area around the eyes and cheeks is often featherless and white. Young macaws usually look differently. For example, they, may, they might have dark eyes, whereas the adults have bright yellow eyes. Diet and feeding. Macaws eat a variety of plant foods, including seeds, nuts, fruits, palm, fruits, leaves, flowers, and stems. Some of the larger species may travel 60 miles in a day to search for foods that they really like. So they're definitely willing to travel to get good food. Some macaws eat clay from riverbanks. It is thought this reduces the effect of poisons in some of the foods they eat. Macaws have very strong beaks that can crack tough nuts such as coconuts, Brazil nuts, and macadamia nuts. They also have strong, dry, smooth tongues which they can push into the middle of fruits to eat them. Baby macaws. 
Macaws usually build their nests in holes in trees, cliffs, or river banks. The mother macaw lays one to four eggs, which take about one month to hatch. Often during this incubation period, only the female keeps the eggs warm and protects them. During this time, the male will bring her food. After hatching, the chicks develop wings, wing feathers, and leave the nest, a behavior called fledging. At around 100 days of age, but they stay with their parents until they are about six months of age. Macaws in the wild usually live for 40 to 50 years, but in captivity they can live up to 75 years. Humans are cutting down macaws forests for cattle ranching and agriculture. Some macaws are threatened because people take them from the forest to keep them as pets. So this is another macaw and look at those bright colors. And on this picture up here, you can really see the white that they talked about on their face. And this one too. Alright guys, so let's see what we are doing today. I think this is the best day because we get to draw pictures. Alright, so in each one of these boxes, you are going to draw a picture instead of writing today. So the appearance... You can draw like the blue macaw or from one of the pictures that is used in the article. You can go back in this video and pause on it if you need to. And then, or you can draw one that you find on the internet or you can even draw Rio. All right, the habitat, where you think the macaw would live, what it looks like. And they talk about the habitat in the first paragraph and in some of the pictures you can see the plants and stuff so I would suggest doing the rainforest habitat but if you would like to do the woods or the grasslands that's fine too diet and feeding draw me two to three things that the macaw eats right here and then a baby macaw you can draw the eggs, you can draw the macaw before it has its feathers, whatever you'd like to draw for the baby macaw. And then over here, three other facts you're going to draw in pictures. So say that you are putting, let's see, that the smallest macaw is about, is only 12 inches long. You could draw a ruler right here with 12 inches because that tells me the smallest one is 12 inches. Something else you could draw, let's see. They have strong beaks, so you could draw a beak in another one. Now you are able to draw anything you want. Please don't think that you have to do what I'm saying right now. And... You could also put where they are cutting down the forest, you could do a bulldozer with the forest trees going down if you wanted in your third one. Those are all options for your um, three other facts. You're just drawing me something that you learned about the macaw. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in today. I love and miss you. Hope to see you soon.